So here's how we're going to do the two-point perspective assignment. So you can see right here we have some buildings. Well, possibly buildings, could be just blocks, but the key thing is this. This point over here is called a vanishing point, and so is this. Now connecting the two vanishing points is a horizontal line. A little hard to see on this one. Notice that all of the lines here are either vertical, straight up and down, straight up and down, either vertical, or they fall on a line that you can trace back through the vanishing point. So top of the door, vanishing point. Top of this building, vanishing point. Top of this building, van even the windows follow these rules of perspective. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw something similar to this. Actually, you'll see there is a picture file in your folder with a little bit more detail. This is just breaking it down to its absolute elements. So here we are in AutoCAD, and the first thing we're going to do is make sure down here we have our object snaps turned on, and specifically I've got endpoint snap turned on. That's the most useful one I'm going to have. I'm going to start here by drawing a line, and the other thing that helps is to make sure we've got polar tracking turned on. So if you can see this happening, this is good. If you can't, get some help from me. So I'm going to draw a vertical line. Now my next line I'm going to go and I'm going to snap it to this vanishing point over here. I'm going to go back up, snap to this point right here. You can see I'm snapping to the end point. Snap over here and snap down here. Okay, so there's a rough diamond shape and you can see from the picture what I've basically drawn is kind of this shape right here. So now I'm going to draw these two lines right here. So line vertical. Again, make sure I'm snapping vertical. Don't worry that it goes past. And since I'm drawing a line, I'll just keep going. And there. So now I've drawn the two side walls. Now I want to get rid of the lines that I don't need. So I'm just going to select everything. Select everything with Control A. And I'm going to go up here and hit Trim. So Trim, remember Trim, any time lines cross each other that you've selected, you can trim them up. If you can't trim them up with Trim, like I'll show you with this bottom one. So once I've done this, I can't trim this because there's nothing to trim it with. So I'm just going to press Enter to finish. I'll select that line, press Delete. Okay, there's my first building right there. Don't worry about this blue line. This is our horizon line. We're going to keep delete that a little bit later. So I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to redraw these lines. These are going to be my street level lines. And the next thing we're going to do, I'm also going to draw in a sidewalk. And I'll draw in, actually I want to draw the vertical line here first. I'm just going to draw a short little vertical line. And notice I'm using the zoom tool with the mouse. So I'm just, whoops, lost that line somewhere. That's okay. Not a problem. There we go. Okay, so there's my sidewalk. I'm going to draw another building over here. And again, same idea. I'm going to start with this line. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to start here, go to that point, back down to there. So you can see I'm drawing way more lines than I need to. And down to there, there's the other wall. And I'm also going to draw a line. So this building, for example, is not next to this building. There's a little alleyway in between. So again, I'm just going to select sort of this is all select. I'm going to select everything around there and I'm going to trim that up. So I don't want to see this line because it's behind this building. I don't want to see this line. I'm going to delete that line too. It just makes it a little neater. There, there, there. So you can see I can just continue the same process.
Okay, now that line, I missed on that line. That's not vertical. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to try that one again. Okay, that's on a vertical axis. Oh, I see. I snapped the midpoint accidentally. Didn't mean to do that. So there's your start. And again, you can take a look. You can draw windows, doors. You can also take a look at the example. You can see that some of the windows are inset. That is, they're set in from the building. Same thing with the doors. I want you to try that one too.